um, okay, I, I just found out I have to re-record to do the, well, it's actually a part of the same book I, I was working on a while back, so I have to re-record it because the music was too loud. <laughs> so let's see now. Um, get this so it's going to be, uh, uh, maybe I, I might put it in two, like, two parts. The days were drawing themselves out longer, whereas the star-thirsty nights were slowly unwrapping, as if the darkness they conveyed to the archetypal human visage, with the wrappings of an ancient bandage from a pyramid and tomb mummy, who had long ago been king to an ancient land. Point and counterpoints, matter free ebb and flow, shared with the prophet painter, a relativity of some strange last wing perch perspective. In the, in the self juxtapositioned hours and minutes that passed, as would a visual presence of time remove its seconds from being as they were a cap slanted on the head of an ageless, ageless train porter. A woman who lived there toward the philosopher painter had very recently fallen into conversation with the painter, prophet, and philosopher, and found, and when he told her of his, pa uh, of his paintings, prophet's soul, she asked him if he might have the time at present to sketch upon some of his canvases different perspectives of her person, the division of which numerically divided her multitudes of character, be of more so import than any single painting might aware her train of her train of thought thereof. Studying her absolutely beautiful face, of the, the essence of which was lost forever between finding her footing on life's very roads homeward or losing it again, he realized that for most of us, there is really no such quality of existence as land's end. There is only frontiersmanship to lead us out of the door into ever higher plateaus of neither pretense nor fallen coinage. But instead of these two juxtaposed dirty pieces of bootleg silver, boundaryless heights of um, selfless epistemology, always and forever waiting for a new adventurer to whatever discovery had of itself to had of itself to give him. This is indeed no land's no land's end anywhere. There there is indeed no land's end anywhere upon this earth. Only frontier, and frontier was asking humanity's lightness and darkness, not to think of it as separate from the noble carriage of the cleaner, cleaner form of climate, it could only draw its deepest water strength of, of person therefrom. Uh, the lower forms of life that co-inhabit with us this sphere of life that is becoming less and less existentializable is the one form of redemption through suffering the existentialists more so belonging to the past, breathe their view verses and chapters into the forged flames of art thereby. But studying life in that way was every, whereas the more so positivist existence where rises the flow of the two in their sherry of the same oceanic ontologies was rising. Existentialism is neither singular nor is it divisible. Rather, the, 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 this, these two it is the co cocoon in whose tight woven cloth the moth and butterfly are more so bulls in the china closet, where chemistry and its own augmentation wrestle one another in a dance of a thousand masks of being. And Somewhere between the linear and the episodic, there coexists with form and matter, separated from one another, as might the cavity of motion time gives space as its own fetus and wound, a bridge between proposition and predication. This cavity is ever-present within all that is defined by conceptual intuition. In the background of these tales I transpose to you, the reader, is the topical linear as the canvas upon which I bring each character with his or her 
we have heard presents more substance of personage. Although light and dark are each the structural fetus giving change of season to the other's enveloping womb, the abandoning of linear sequentiality on, onto the episodic that still retains the line of measure that is one among many erstwhile metaphors of the dimensional absence pre-existing the birth of space. We are, you and I, creations of literary, of a literary attempt at something second cousin to what Henry the Ford did when inventing for mass production the prototypal automobile structure. The best way to realize your own literary methodology is to disassemble piece by piece the parts from their sum, sum. And when another, where and where another might see the destruction of that object of human creation, others would see the quintessentiality of its epistemology rising from the library of the Leviathan slumbers of the parts where when separate from the entirety of the whole. The woman, as she observed herself in a life-size mirror in the painter's attic loft, advised him thereof with these words. Whatever, responded the painter, philosopher, and poet, is the law that governs the linear structure essential to the interrelationship allowing subject and predicate to reverse the flow of time by by um, turning around each other, each other's place in a sense, placing it in some past as future. Whatever this is as yet unrealizable and undefined law pre-exists what is its own pre-existing afterward. It proves one thing. It proves that you cannot abstract linear sequence from the, from the um, passage of time. Even so, in literature, is this a foreordained truth belonging to time and space in the circling orbit of matter around stationary flame? And with these words, the painter dipped his brush and began to recreate the woman's beautiful face. And that is a whole cheese of <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> hey, uh, so, uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to put that with the, the rest of the stuff about the painter. And, uh, um, I'm going to listen to that several more times because I'm going to put, put the, these characters. It, 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 it's kind of like a character. He is the painter, but he's separate from him too. And she might be the, the lady that he meets at the other place. So we will c continue and have a, a safe, happy day. God bless, peace, love, and everything. And have a, have a great day.